Welcome to your daily tarot for Friday the 20th of September. I'm Hem from Self Love Self Care System. I'm going to be doing our daily tarot reading from the original Ride Away Tarot Deck by Amy White and conceived of by Pamela Coleman Smith. This is like the, the original one. People can copy them, I think. I can't remember when they were made. Made a long time ago. So I'm going to get our energy at the time. <laughs> I'm going to throw the cards around. For today's Friday. It's beautiful, isn't it? Because the weekend's coming. And those of you who work at the weekend, I hope you have some really beautiful days off. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get our energy at the day card. We're going to get our problem if there is one. Do you know, I said to the angels the other day, I said, we seem to get the same cards and don't seem to get any of the new ones. And they said, well, the vibration hasn't changed, shifted or moved yet. So that could be why. That's kind of their answer to everything, isn't it? Right. Let's have a look at the energy of the day card. Ooh, so we've got the Knight of Swords. You are, well, it's Friday. You've moved, you've shifted out of the Pisces full moon energy just, 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 just. And you're feeling a little bit like a horse with a bit between its teeth. And you, oh, not a dog, more like a dog with a bone, actually. And you want to kind of go, right? Um, the angels are saying it's all very well and really good, but there is a kind of conflictual energy and a vibration to your your makeup they're saying to me they show me makeup that case and they go makeup and they're saying that part of you thinks that it's it's time just to jump and get on with it um but they're telling me to watch out for impulsivity because they're saying it's impulsivity that will put you in a space that's problematic now they're saying, watch out. What may look gold may actually be lead in front of you. Interesting. What's the, why is that the case, angels? They're saying because the perspective you're taking on this isn't the perspective of someone using a reason, rational mind. And they're saying while you use a, a level of ra irrationality to make your decisions, you will not be focused in what you're doing. Then they're saying the level of irrationality and impulsivity that they're seeing is something that could cause you to have problems later down the line. This is about checking when you're signing things. Don't sign things too early. Um, they're saying it doesn't really matter what this is about. They're just saying that you be careful. Do not rush where angels fear to tread, they're saying. Do not rush where angels fear to tread. So they're now showing me um, someone walking quite slowly. They're saying if you go slowly, life will be easier because you'll be able to spot the pitfalls before you fall down them yeah they're talking about the fact that if you're impulsive and overly fast yeah you're going to have unnecessary problems that you don't need that's what they're basically saying so that's what that that's about but it's about you may want to rush ahead but they're saying that there's no right they're saying there's nothing wrong with rushing it moving ahead that's better yet rushing ahead and impulsivity and misunderstanding about what you're doing and not checking on facts and fact checking could get you in hot water later so they're saying take this once they're saying walk briskly if you need to but we do not run when the ground is icy that's how they're putting it to me okay my darlings so right let's see oh there's a problem is there a problem here oh interesting I was looking at that thing. There's no problem. It's the Queen of Wands. It's great. They say no, no, no. There is a problem. Watch out for the black cat crossing you. Could be literal for some of you, but right here, some of you are. You could. Oh, this is a bit of a landmine. They're showing me landmines, and they're saying for some of you, you need to watch where you're going. Yeah, it is so literal. They are literally saying to me, tell them if they don't watch for where they're going, they could walk into, they could they could literally fall into great crevasses, of crevasses of, of poles, and they can't get out of them. And, and this is why this black hat's being pointed out to me, because they're saying the black hat is, it can be unlucky if it walks across you, and they're saying you're not looking, you're not looking where you're going. They're, they're really, really strong about this. They're saying if one doesn't look at where one's going, one will fall into a space where one doesn't want to be. If you cannot 
see the wood for the trees, pause until you're ready. That could be the problem if you're rushing when you don't need to be. What's the solution, Angels? I'm really intrigued by this. I'm very intrigued. <laughs> it's so obvious. It's so obvious. It's so silly. It's the Knight of Cups, but look at how he's going. Look at the difference between like the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Look at the difference. Look at how slowly he's going. You could say he's going backwards because he's looking back, but they say, no, 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 this is not what it's significating here, right? They're saying what this is significating is the solution. The reason you're looking back is it's the solution to this problem, okay? And the solution is that you take it steadily. You move steadily. And they're telling me to remind you that all life is about relationship. And if you don't take it steadily, you are going to step on other people's toes. Yeah, they're also saying you may need to offer up some of your services to others before you go hell for leather into the next space. Right, there's an independence level to this. This is like a like, it's like crazy town here, isn't it? So this is the independence level, but it's but, it, but it's overall it's over overindulgent, over quick, not thinking about others, only thinking about itself, and it's highly impulsive. Okay. Then this is the, the problem which was saying you are not looking where you're going, you're not, you're not paying attention. This is a lack of impulsivity, you're paying attention, you're moving with the flow, you're going with the harmonious element. And you're able to share with others. Where you are being impulsive, you're going to miss the people you are. Oh, okay, thank you angels, I've got it now. Right. When we move into the next phases of our lives, there's always some things that need to be closed and cleaned up before we leave, okay? If you haven't closed up and cleaned up house, you're going to get in trouble. This is the trouble. So what they're showing me here is that this, this being able to serve up the cup and say to people, it's been amazing, thank you very much. It's been great, I've loved it, I've lived with your company, here's some money, here's a present, here's a gift, here's a thank you, here's a service. Do the thing before you run off. Do the thing, okay? There's something that needs to be done before you move to the next space and the next stage, okay, my darlings? So that was your Friday reading. Have a lovely, scintillating, glorious evening tonight. Have a beautiful weekend. Whether you're working or not, find some space and time for yourself. Do a little bit of tender love and care. And as I'm a self-love, self-care lady, find some time for self-love. Find some time for self-care. It's really, really important right now, my darling. Really, really, really important. The other thing is, my sweets, um, you know, if you got this far, I'd love a thumbs up because I'd be ultra, ultra happy. Do, do, please come on, party with us. Come subscribe if you haven't done already. If you don't feel cool to, I don't mind. It's okay. But you know how I'd love to have you as part of our membership team. It'd be, it'd be quite good. And also it will give me the capacity to bring in some of the things that I want to bring in for you, which is really difficult right now with the way I am with the page. And I really want to, with this with this channel, I really want to do some more, but obviously I'm kind of limited because financially I am literally, it's not about money, but it's about, I need the viewership in order to create what I want to create for you guys, because it's like, I want to do something for you as a, as a collective. And bring you in maybe we can do some zooms and we can do some stuff where we get some training and i can assist you that kind of thing too we'll see how it goes right also my lovelies do check out the videos above now there's a different video above um there's the yesterday's reading and there's going to be an interview i did with the afterlife po podcast you might want to check it out you're going to hear my words my wisdom things that i think of things that i come up with through the day you might find it interesting. Do check it out if you're called. If you're not, that's fine too. It's your call, my babies. Your call, my loves. Um, I, I felt like um, your call, um, what was it for dirty dancing? Your call, baby, or something. He says something like, your call, baby. It's your call, baby, or something to do with that. I can't remember it. I don't know. But there you go, my lovelies. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Friday. I should be bringing out the reading for Saturday, the angel message. So do check it out if you uh, feel called. Namaste, everyone. Have a beautiful weekend. Have a beautiful day. And I will be sending you big love for the best weekend ever. And I will see you fully tomorrow on Saturday with the angels and then on Monday. Sending you big love. Take care, everyone. Bye.